A Utah charter school that incorporates Black History Month into its lesson plans is now facing backlash from some after the school announced it was allowing parents to opt students out of the curriculum. Maria Montessori Academy director Mika Hirakawa announced the decision in a Friday post on the school's private Facebook page, according to local news outlet The Standard Examiner. Hirakawa wrote that he, reluctantly, sent a letter to families stating that administrators were allowing them to exercise their civil rights to not participate in Black History Month at the school. Hirakawa said in the post that, a few families, had asked not to participate in the curriculum, though he declined to tell the standard examiner the exact number of parents who had contacted the school or the reasons they gave for making the request. The public charter school director added that the demand from parents, deeply saddens and disappoints me. We should not shield our children from the history of our nation, the mistreatment of its African-American citizens, and the bravery of civil rights leaders, but should educate them about it, Hirakawa said. Hirakawa told the Utah News Outlet that the school, which serves elementary and middle school students, incorporates Black History Month into social studies and history lessons, with a particular effort this year to highlight the achievements of African American figures in U. S. History. Hirakawa, who is of Asian descent and noted that his great grandparents were sent to a Japanese internment camp, told the outlet that he believes there is a lot of value in teaching our children about the mistreatment, challenges, and obstacles that people of color in our nation have had to endure and what we can do today to ensure that such wrongs don't continue. One parent at the school, Rebecca Bennett, reportedly wrote in a comment on Hirakawa's Facebook post that she was appalled to see the form sent out that allows parents to opt their kids out of this and to hear that this is all because some parents have requested it. I echo others who are disappointed to hear this was even ever made an issue in the first place by some families in our school's community, she added. The school's board of directors declined to give the standard examiner additional information on the decision. According to the Utah State Board of Education, only three of the 322 students at the academy are black, with white students making up roughly 70% of the school's population. <laughs>